additive manufacturing is a manufacturing approach that allows you to assemble materials into any geometric layout and topology you want. It offers the flexibility that conventional manufacturing or subtractive manufacturing doesn't have. My research is developing additive manufacturing technologies to create materials with three-dimensional architectures. And secondly, it offers the ability to place material across different lens scales. Thirdly, which is also extremely important, is that additive offers the ability to assemble various classes of materials into a product. So it greatly simplifies how we manufacture materials without having to combine different processes and assembly approaches. Our research is uh, impactful because first, it can accelerate the design of novel materials with exceptional properties. Second, it enables us to, to design materials with uh, on-demand physical responses. So given uh, a desired user input re physical response, we design using machine learning uh, metamaterials that exhibit such response. Metamaterials are printed in very high resolution, large area, containing uh, millions of repeating units, can provide insights to obtaining new ultralight, ultra-stiff, and damage-tolerant materials. The ability to assemble material into any geometric layouts allows us to unleash the freedom to material design. So we can design materials with any topologies and microstructures that bypass the limitation of natural materials and raw materials. Our models can generate in fractions of a second millions of designs with on-demand uh, physical responses. 3D printing allows us to print uh, very intricate structures that traditional manufacturing methods cannot uh, achieve. And this is specifically the case for ceramics. Uh, making ceramic is pretty complicated, and the shape we obtain really limit the performances we can get. So with 3D printing of ceramics, we can achieve great performances that can also be tunable. And this has very specific applications for uh, biomedical transducers, for example, uh, such as devices used for ultrasonic imaging or neurostimulation, but also for some um, underwater sensors. So we're so excited about this research because this is just the beginning. We're able to control one material using one technique, but we have many new ideas. They will have some data showing that we'll be able to control many different materials in different techniques. So you can imagine if we have the ability to control your large range with so many different materials, then we have a big impact in many applications like soft actuators, soft robotics, energy conversion materials, and those lightweight materials in automotive industry. We have been actively pursuing applications of this material to different industry areas, including automobile, aerospace, electronics, and robotics. For the automobile application, we are combining artificial intelligence and additive manufacturing approaches to design structural materials that, for example, can be used in car bumper to absorb energy during collision. So what do you want to have in collision environment is that you want to be able to resist high impact forces as well as absorb large amount of energy so that you can minimize the energy transferred into the human body or the car body. As our lab expands, our printing facilities also expand. We are, also able, we are now able to print more materials uh, with very high resolution and we can also do multi-material printing, so have like several materials in the same device. And this really is the manufacturing process of these uh, transducers. Uh, today, for example, for underwater uh, detection, we have to use arrays, so like complicated, lots of tiny elements that are um, that then require much computational power to detect where a sound comes from. However, with our computational metamaterials, we're able, just after 3D printing, have a very small, easy device that requires very less um, computational power to do the same thing as what huge transducers would do. I'm so excited about this research because we can fabricate products with advanced materials in large volume that are defect-free. I'm super excited about the future of research because we are offering a way to simplify how we fabricate, design, and use materials.